Hello and welcome from Drop In at the Bridge. For those who don't know me, my name is Wes Larson and I am the founder and manager of Drop In at the Bridge here in lovely downtown Kincardine. Uh, if you've never been uh, in uh, this building, let me give you a, just a quick tour. Uh, it won't take long. And as you can see, here it is. Um, we are in this beautiful downtown location. Um, I think the color is green. That's probably just a guy's thought of what it is. It's probably some offshoot color. And to be honest, I don't know what that is. Uh, but anyways, beautiful location. Uh, in regular or normal times, maybe we'll call it that, um, this building is filled with people just having a lot of fun, laughing, uh, playing games, playing card games, board games, um, just chatting, um, telling jokes, um, drinking coffee, having a great time. And of course, um, always the, the, the best part of it, at least for me anyways, was the meal at lunchtime when everybody sat around um, um, a large table that we kind of put together with all the small tables and we just shared a meal. Um, it was always a wonderful time. Anyways, uh, right now, of course, because of COVID, we are closed. And uh, But once the stay-at-home order is lifted, we will be back to at least a partial opening of drop-in again. But what I wanted to do in the meantime was update everyone as to what we're doing, because there are lots of things going on here at drop-in um, outside of our physical location. But first, what I wanted to do was just say a big thank you to so many different people who, and without their support, drop-in would not be in operation. Uh, first, I want to uh, thank the, our, our um, sponsors uh, for helping us out in, in providing food uh, for so many different occasions, and that's Sobeys, uh, No Frills, and of course, Beefway as well. And without their support in, in providing um, meat and um, and also just other supplies for us uh, over the not just during COVID but over the uh, the years that we've been open. Um, I don't think we could have actually uh, made it happen. So I just want to say a big thank you to uh, to those three companies, as well a lot of other people, uh, organizations, and foundations have um, sponsored us by uh, providing uh, financial assistance. Um, way too many to be uh, named here and I know I would name a few and I would forget most so uh, I apologize for that but thank you so much uh, for also for many people who have also provided uh, food gift cards uh, which have become very important certainly during COVID uh, and us being able to help people who are in need um, and then lastly I want to thank the volunteers here for drop-in uh, I almost want to call them my volunteers um, because I, I feel that close to them. Uh, without our volunteers, though, uh, none of this would happen. Uh, I may be the face of uh, dropping at the bridge, but they actually make it all work and make it happen. And uh, they don't get the recognition they really deserve. And so I just want to say to them right now a big shout out and thank you to all the wonderful things that you guys are doing, the dedication you have provided over the, the years uh, in making meals and, and just being here to drop in as volunteers uh, for financial assistance, for just being there and even just, you know, uh, making me feel good about stuff. So that's all wonderful. And I just so, so thank you for all each and every one of you. Uh, you guys are very special on my heart, that's for sure. Um, I, the other thing that uh, I just wanted to mention is just some of the things that we are doing. And one of the big programs is our frozen meal program. We've actually delivered a little over, approximately, I should say, 1,600 meals, uh, frozen meals, to people in the concurrent area. It started off really once COVID hit, we wanted to stay in touch with uh, people from the drop-in, our, our many guests. And so I started phoning people up and just asking them if they would like meals. And for me, I, I, I mean, that was important, but the other part that was really critically important was just being able to stay in touch, make sure that they're you know checking up on them, making sure they're doing all right, um, seeing if there was anything else we could do to help and support them uh, during this time of need. And it grew from there. We've added other people um, as they've heard about our, our program, just people who really needed help, uh, whether it was because they were not, unable to get out um, themselves to even do grocery shopping or um, maybe because of loss of uh, income, they just needed extra meals to help out. 
Uh, also, we were able to provide uh, uh, much needed grocery gift cards for people, especially with large families or um, people with special needs, uh, you know, that uh, it would be too hard for us to, uh, to make meals for us. So we, uh, we were able to give gift cards and continue to do that. And, and that's just a wonderful thing that we're able to be able to pro provide. Uh, as well, um, for special the special holidays, so Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter time, we also made hot meals and uh, dropped them off. Um, our last one, which was at Easter time, we did 80, I believe it was 84 or 82 meals we, we made. Uh, just a wonderful thing that we were able to do, and it was amazing, all the volunteers. Uh, I believe we had uh, 15 volunteers plus myself to make that all happen in, in just a few short hours, literally. So um, once again, without the volunteers and without our sponsors and all of the people behind the scenes that you just never hear about, none of this would happen. Anyways, I just want to say um, to everyone out there, um, thank you so much for your support um, and your encouragement. It has been wonderful. Uh, we will continue to do these things as long as we're needed. And of course, as drop-in opens, we're so looking forward to being able to have our seniors, um, people from community living, um, as well as uh, getting the, the teens back and being able to do that from, for the high, school, high schoolers. Uh, looking forward to being able to do all of that again. If you want to know more about what we're doing, uh, check us out on Facebook. Um, you, can, you can find us at Drop-In at the Bridge. And uh, it kind of gives a lot of information, wonderful pictures, and also contact information for us. I hope to be able to do a few of these uh, every month just to update you as to what we're doing. I know I've been a little lax in getting stuff out to you, but it uh, doesn't mean we're not doing anything. In fact, maybe it's the opposite. It's because we are so busy. We, I just haven't had time to really uh, update everybody. But I want you to know we're uh, alive and well, and we are going to continue to to do the things that are important here in Concord and to help the people that need to be helped and uh, just to create community here. And that's what we're all about. Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, next week or next time, uh, what I probably will spend a little bit more time on is just talking about um, um, volunteering. And, and it's certainly if you're interested in doing any kind of volunteering or would help like to help us in any way, once again, check out Facebook. Um, and you'll see all our contact information, and we can go from there, okay? Thanks very much. Take care. Hope you're having a great day, and uh, have a beautiful, beautiful long weekend with you and your family. Bye now.